sometimes erases elements of history. This past we thought lost forever comes back to life thanks to modern technology and virtual reconstruction. A new kind of archaeologist is born. Welcome to History in Three Dimensions. On December 17, 1903, Orville and Wibble Wright complete the first powered flight aboard the flyer. A young engineer named Louis Blériot joins the challenge. The student of École Centrale launches the design of Aeronef. After several prototypes, he builds the monoplane Type 11 that combines many innovations of its time. Innovations that are still used on today's planes across the globe. The core of the Blériot 11 resides in its three-cylinder, 25-horsepower engine designed by Mr. Anzani. July 1909, the race is on to become the first to fly to Great Britain. After Latham's failure, Blériot boards his craft and takes off for Calais on July 25, 1909. Following a 37-minute flight, he lands in Dover. The Daily Mail, sponsor of the race, headlines, Britain is no longer an island. 1914, World War I. The Blériot Type 11 is used to guide artillery. Soon obsolete, is removed from combat squadrons and converted into a training aircraft. 1914. In the meantime, French pilot Maurice Guillot arrives in Australia, where he is about to achieve a similarly memorable flight between Melbourne and Sydney, the first Australian air mail flight. Before that, Guillot joins multiple shows, one which leads to a crash, ending without any serious injury. July 16, the big day. He takes off towards Seymour, Wangaratta, Albury, Wagga Wagga, and Harden. He takes off again on July 18 towards Goldburn, Liverpool, and finally lands in Sydney. As part of the celebration of the year in France and Brazil in 2009, Three colleges worked together to build a replica of the Blériot 11. College Diderot in Paris rebuilds the wings and stabilizer. A university in India is in charge of modeling the engine. The third contributor comes from Brazil for the fuselage and reconstruction of the plane. Using parametric geometry to model surfaces and solids, the team solved the inconsistencies and uncertainties of past design. This work generated an accurate set of cell surfaces and assemblies. Analysis and curvature tools were used to recover the optimum profiles, later validated during test in the wind tunnel of the École Centrale in Paris. With the digital mock-up completed, the assembly of the replica began. The project, sponsored by several teams from around the globe, reached completion and the first flight took place March 1, 2010. A 100% product lifecycle management project using 3D design and simulation solutions. The Moran N-Type. This project was initiated in 2011 by Memorial Flight and Casque de Cria, two associations that initiated the reconstruction of a plane thought lost forever. It all began with the creation of a digital version based on limited and incomplete drawings and photographs from that period. After the digital mock-up was validated in 2012, they started building the actual replica of the plane. The Moran G-Type, plane of myth, race, and records. A replica built by the group Replicaire was used on September 22, 2013 between Fréjus, France and Bizerte, Tunisia to commemorate the crossing of the Mediterranean Sea by Roland Garros in 1913. They covered 780 kilometers in 7 hours, 43 minutes. With a digital mock-up, 
reconstruction of the plane was completed accurately, especially for some massive parts recreated using additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Cap 10, how could a 20th century aerobatics plane find a new life in 2014? Passionate men, new material science, and digital modeling. The recipe for wings repaired and validated by the European Aviation Safety Agency. The plane now good as new is back to performing aerobatic flights for the joy of pilots across generations. At the dawn of the 21st century, they can continue aerobatic training in this same machine. Transport and spacecraft. Imagine your future. Live your passion. Contribute to the ultimate quest of man towards space. This is a dream come true for a group of students from the University of Technology in Belfort Montbéliard, France, together with the company HKW. They presented the results of their study during 2013 Le Bourget Air Show, where they received the Partners Special Award. DASO Systems 3D Experience. Reconstruct the past, reflect on the present, imagine the future.